Hello folks, this is Tom from anti-proton.com and this is a short teaser. I'm going to get on later on tonight after I'm done playing Dungeons and Dragons, an incredibly important thing to do. Also, the wife will kill me if I don't play Dungeons and Dragons because, well, she likes to play Dungeons and Dragons. But I wanted to quickly show you this little package of no salt. I have shown you piles of potassium chloride salt. I am aware of this. I apologize if it seems redundant. But in the absence of uranium bars and vials of technetium and molybdenum or whatever, um, I'm, I have this very, very low radioactive salt substitute. I thought I would show it to you just for giggles. I buy it at the store. I bought a couple containers of it, not to eat, but to use for my analysis. Why? Because I'm strange. And I put it in a little bag like this. See? Potassium salt. K40, beta positive negative. Let me give you the, the quick deal on this. <clears throat> All potassium that exists on Earth, including bananas, well, bananas aren't potassium, but they contain potassium. So bananas, potatoes, apricots, all kinds of random things, they can all contain potassium. Potassium is good for you. It's really, really, really good for you. But all potassium contains a tiny little bit of radioactive potassium, just a tiny bit. And radioactive potassium emits beta particles. Remember from my videos, beta, they're electrons. It also performs another type of decay called beta positive, which are positrons, anti-electrons. Anti, um, Move the beta away, I think it's making my Geiger counter tick. And then it does a third type called beta capture, meaning a beta particle can fly in and be caught by the atom. And uh, that can, of course, <clears throat> that, of course, can uh, add a little bit to the instability. Anyhow, I bought this stuff at the store. Uh, potassium 99 chloride. I don't know what the hell that's supposed to be because I don't know what potassium 99 is. Because there's no such thing I know of as potassium 99. I guess, no, it's 99 milligrams. That's what it's talking about. What a weird way to write that. That's kind of dumb. That was strange. My wife uh, hiccuped. It was kind of odd. It sounded like demon possession. That was a joke, by the way. I've noticed on YouTube there's so many people that believe so much whack out stuff. My god. Apparently I'm around the potassium, right? My problem was, let me get the potassium and move it away. There. There we go. That should drop it down a little bit. Unless I've got like some hideously radioactive thing ticking away. What the hell? Stop ticking so much. You're supposed to be at 14 counts per minute normally. Okay. Anyway, this stuff just turned out not to be very radioactive at all. This was a waste of money. It takes a little, as it should. It's 1.5, give or take, million electron volts worth of energy on each one of these little beta particles. Yippee skippy. It's nothing to write home about. See, it's already dropping. And that's fun. But it's not like the good stuff. This, you can buy at the store. In the container, you don't get too much from it. Let's open it up. Oops. Something prop up my camera here. There we go. Let me open it up and see what I get out of it. Come on. There we go. Now, here's the container that it's going to go in. Oh, there goes the camera. Let's pour a little bit of it on the thing here. See, there's a bit. It's a nice little crystalline substance. Ticks a little. Perfectly safe. So safe that I will, um. Hmm. I will eat it. I just ate some. Kind of tastes like crap. It's a little bitter. But, like I said, it's perfectly safe. Now, let me put that back in the container quickly here. And let's now dump it into this. Alright, 
let's fill this up. Oops, there we go. Ah, yes. That's ticking. The Geiger counter can detect the radiation. And it enjoys the radiation. I don't detect it with my tongue since I just ate it. I guarantee what I just ate isn't going to hurt me. In fact, this whole bottle and container isn't going to hurt you. Because no salt is perfectly safe. More or less. Although one should understand that your potassi potassium in your diet needs to be regulated anyway. You can't just have like infinite amounts of potassium in your diet. Okay, so here we are. Hear that? Lightning. Big time lightning. Now let's put two. One here and one here. So my entire Geiger counter is surrounded by this stuff. There we go. Let's put the uh, potassium pills right here. That should do absolutely nothing. There. There it is. No salt. Now, admittedly, I have a truckload of no salt. I have bags of no salt. I have idiotic, stupendous amounts of... And I, and I also have this potassium here going on. See the potassium? Woo! 42. Look at that. This is not really very radioactive at all. It's perfectly safe. You can eat it. I just did. But it is quite impressive that you can get this off of just the potassium salt. I have enough potassium salt currently around my Geiger counter to, you know, fill a truck, so that has something to do with it, too. I packed a few more of these bags on here. This thing would been nuts. So, this is perfectly safe, but I just thought you might get a kick out of it. And honestly, these, I don't think they're doing anything. I might as well move them away. I think it's the bags that are doing it. Come on, break 50. You know you want to. Break 50. 50. 50. Come on, 50 counts per minute. By the way, in case you're curious, the reason I know it's 50 counts per minute is because I multiply this by 100. And this is technically 0 0.4 whatever microsieverts. It's been fluctuating. So we're in the microsievert range. You no, know, maybe this was helping a little. Because the Geiger tube's right here, right there. So by putting that right there, it's picking some up. Yeah, I think that was doing some. Maybe a little of that, too. The whole tube is now surrounded by beta emitters. That is impressive. For just potassium salt. Anyway, uh, it's perfectly safe. Buy it at the store. Enjoy it. It's great. If you are like me, there we go, 50, and you like to play with radioactive stuff, but you're very paranoid like I am and you don't want anything dangerous, you just want something that's fun and fun at parties, that sort of thing, buy this. Buy No Salt. It's awesome. I don't, don't think it tastes that great, but it's perfectly safe. You can sleep with this under your pillow. It will never hurt you. Ever. Hell, I'm willing to touch it. And this is fun and easy to read and great educational stuff if you have a Geiger counter and you want to test your house with your Geiger counter and protect your food. But then let's say you want to teach your kids about it, for example, you could buy this. Bag of potassium salt, it will never hurt them if they open it up and ate some of it. I mean, I guess if they ate enough, it could hurt them because you shouldn't eat like huge amounts of potassium. But the, the radioactive part would never hurt them and they could learn. It's a great way to teach your children. And if I take a bar of silver and put it in front of the Geiger counter, it should cut down a little bit. This bar of silver is going to cut back on the Geiger readings a little. Maybe not because I have the whole Geiger tube totally surrounded. Yeah, see they went down because I put a bar of silver. Well, I have a bar of silver, I don't know, but anyway. Alright, well this has been Tom Fantadish, Uh Bye-bye.